y'all when you all up close and set up the news. <laughs> I, I had the chance to give to a few children. Like Come on over there. I had the chance to give to a Thank you. 
Ma'am, thank you for your leadership and uh, for pursuing higher education and everything and being a city Houston employee. Um, I think a good starting point on this, uh, regardless of what may happen with any type of ordinance, would be just a simple education campaign. There's not a lot of public awareness. I think we all understand it and we know it, but there's not, you know, maybe other leaders stepping up and saying, look, be more appropriate, especially when you're around children, some basic common sense. I think we need to encourage more of that. Uh, simply doing another ordinance that is going to criminalize something and, and just create a bigger burden on the, on the system is may or may not be the answer. I don't know how effective that is currently in Dallas or it's maybe only limited in their public transit of some kind or some, some of the key public areas like that. But uh, I think that's a good starting point regardless of what else happens. And I think I think you may be on to something and maybe we can see what other... I see a lot of uh, marketing efforts that like show your mind, not your behind, or something like that. <laughs> so I think that th that might be a good starting point and maybe something where you could gather other leaders maybe. I, I don't know where to start, but maybe a nonprofit or something could maybe take that and maybe put some some signage in different places and just give uh, information to our kids, much like we need to do about, you know, uh, social media and other things like, you know, different things like that. Maybe we could also have some information about this. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Member started. Thank you for coming down. We just, um, believe it or not, just had this conversation at the Anchor Tom Chamber of Commerce luncheon. And I think um, they, some of the conversation highlighted the fact that back when we were young people, that, that uh, depending on the era you grew up in, your parents always had something to say about your dress. Exactly. Whether it was our short skirts or our you know, dresses and different things that, depending on you know what era you were in. So I don't know if that's what this is about or if there's more to it, but I think that um, some of the conversation led to the fact that the leadership needed to in, in, um, make, make these, these young people feel more a part of the community so that maybe that they would feel respect and be respected so that they would want to be, rather than, I'm not really sure about the negative part of it in, in putting them in jail and, and finding them. I think there's an opportunity here though to exactly. progress a positive message. So thank you for sharing. Councilmember Bush. 